Okay guys, so I'm here in Aldi and I have a pickup order, but I wanted to come in for myself to see what they have. Um, I like these flats here. They're $9.99. Um, they have recycled. They're made out of recycled material. But I really like these here. Um, the cheetah print ones. I'm going to ask y'all. I've been cleaning them up. So, I also like these, but these are not the recycled material, which really doesn't. Um, I was just wanting to say that. Uh, hold on. I have these little cute shoes. They have them in girls. There's the boys. Um, I don't think I'm going to get those for size. But they're only $6.99. Um, I may get some size these because he was asking for some shades. And they didn't have them at the Dollar Tree. I was in, they were $3.99. Um, ooh, that's small. Okay. So this is what I got for the pickup. I thought it was a big box. Two of those. And then um, I have one of these in the past. How much are these? These are neat to hang. Um, not to hang, but to lean like little things. Of course, your plants, but like the signs and stuff. And they don't have any signs, they're all gone, which I figured they would be. Um, the other thing I wanted, which I don't see, was the thing, the little arch thing like this. Let's see if I can find a picture and insert it. I didn't see it on the pickup either, y'all. So, um, I did get this years ago, but you have to drill holes in it. It's pretty. This is nice if you have a porch um, patio that you're outside all the time. But anyway, y'all, they don't have any other signs. Let me go on the other side. Um, I like coming here because they still have stuff from like the previous week. Yeah, they don't have any signs, which I figured. They still have a diffuser that I wanted to get. Um, still debating. Okay, so let's start over here. Um, we needed just a little bit of bread. We probably had too much bread, but um, I'll throw these in the freezer. So I have two of the honey wheat bread and one of the 45 calorie um, fit and active multigrain bread. They have went through y'all just about all the chips and maybe like some skinny pop, skinny pop, popcorn here, some cheeses. They went through it. Um, I didn't lock up the chest if you guys <laughs> are new. Anyway, I didn't even say. So, my name is Hope. So, welcome to the channel. And on my channel, I love Aldi. If you found me because of Aldi, if you found me because of a DIY or because of prepping or any other video, welcome to the channel. So, I love to decorate. I love to have celebrations for my family like birthdays and tablescapes and stuff like that and cook for them. So, incorporating cooking with that. <laughs> So welcome to the channel. Okay, y'all. So um, they went through, I had like two chests, two chests here, and they were locked up. And it's just a little bit of snacks left. The other one is totally empty. So they, I didn't lock it up. And so they went through them and I won't do that anymore. So I did this when I was on the um, prepper journey, which I still will have food preps here. I won't get, I'll get some snacks, but I don't, I don't know how much I'll get, y'all. So anyway, I pulled these out because the expiration date was getting, um, was coming up. So or best by sale date was coming up. So I pulled those out. Okay, y'all. So I just got the big bag of chips. There may be some in the. Um, overstock pantry as well, but I got these, uh, the ranch and the nacho cheese chips. I got some beef burgers. I need to clean the grill off. One of our grills, a bird loves to put a nest in it. So I'm just dreading to clean that off and get um, the grilling season going. Um, I got some medium cooked shrimp. I may made this today with some jambalaya um, with the turkey um, pos posca, um, kabaska. Okay, the turkey kielbasa sausage. Um, I like to get this instead of the smoke. The smoke is fine too. Um, okay, y'all, so I got two of the 80-20 and I probably need to 
once I get this stuff, like maybe go to the meat market and get some meats as well. I haven't been there in a while, um, this whole entire year. So this week they have the weekly fresh meat uh, split chicken breast for 99 cents a pound. I almost messed up y'all because above it, you know, their weekly fresh meat special is usually down below at the bottom. Um, so above it, I tend not to look up there because I guess because I'm short and <laughs> um, I overlooked that area. But when I was doing Instacart, I had to look up that high because usually a customer would ask for something that was up there. And usually they keep the thighs up there. I know they heat the split chicken breast, y'all. So I was getting ready to get the expensive regular price chicken breast that was like seven dollars, y'all, for maybe half of this. And then I looked down, something just told me to look down because I didn't even realize that this was the weekly special this week. And I've been wanting, I love to cook with um the chicken breast with the rib in it, more so than just the regular chicken breast. And I have not purchased this in a while. So I may go back if they still have some and um get two more of these so this was like 4.95 and 4.55 um for one which is not bad at all um when we had kroger i miss kroger i don't know why they took them away in north carolina but um when kroger was here um they would have split chicken breasts 99 cents a pound all the time um sometimes you catch it at Harris Teeter, but I don't keep up with the sales, y'all, like I used to. Um, I need to go back to checking the sales every week. Okay, y'all, so I was getting ready to leave out, and they had this spicy ranch um, dressing and spicy, not spicy, it's the salsa ranch. So I think this is a limited time thing, so I wanted to try it. Um, I got some sweet butter lettuce. It was kind of high. You don't get much. It's like one eighty nine. Um, the I know the food was, uh, it was quite much. Y'all, I was like eighty three dollars or something. I was like, I don't know how to get anything. Then I got the turkey honey breast. Um, this was like, I want to say two ninety nine. Yeah, it's right there on it. Um, two ninety nine. And then I got this ham right here, um, which I think is three or four dollars or something. Okay, so then I got three of the pepperoni pieces. They like these and the Honeycrisp apples. Move my camera. I was going to use that, but I didn't. Um, some sharp cheddar deli slice cheese. I did get some of the spinach herb wraps today. Um, the peanut butter candy cookies, the peanut butter field cookies, the caramel coconut fudge cookies. So, I know some of those big kids, which is my oldest, has been taking some of them snacks up to his room um, because it's like the stuff just disappeared. And then when I get a chance to, when I want some chips, like Lay's or something, I just want a bag and it's gone. So, I'm like, dog, y'all even ate all the things. Come on. So, I don't know. I may, um, I'm definitely going to lock it up, but... I won't get as much. Okay, y'all. So then I got the Spider-Man sunglasses. These were $3.99. Josiah was asking for some glasses. Hopefully, we will. I'm not going to say hopefully. We are going to the beach this year because we haven't been probably like in two years. And they had some girl ones too. Josiah was looking for some from the Dollar Tree. I did get him some, but they didn't have a lot at the Dollar Tree. So I don't know if we missed them or um, they haven't put them out yet. Um, I need to, no, I have my own, no, I have shades in my closet. Okay, so I didn't plan on getting so I saw these, but these were $6.99. I'm going to get him to try them on. I think he can wear these. He can slip these on. I do have a haul where he, um, me and him and I got some Crocs. So I think I'll share that and some clothes that he got. Um, I just need to edit that. It may be two different hauls. So, um, this is 11 12 size um he doesn't need to tie them up or anything has a velcro and this stretchy lace here okay so i know my mom's gonna see this um i don't even think she realized they have this color in black because on all these app you have to kind of click on it and then scroll to see the other variations of colors and different designs and stuff so i actually wanted the flat 
open side ballet flat that's like a cream with the navy but i changed my mind and i went ahead I, for some reason i am having loving the um cheetah print or yeah cheetah print so this is a size eight and when i put on the nine it was a little well this looks like it's wide and if it's wide, then I can wear eight and a half. And so I put this on and it was fine. Um, so I hope it's not too big for mama because I got her a black pair. I couldn't pass up the black shoe because she was mentioning something about some black, even though it has this red in the back, but she mentioned something about she didn't have any um, black flats or black shoe for um, to dress. So I got her one. And hopefully that's not too big because she normally wears an eight. So she may need a seven. So I'm going to give that to her on Mother's Day. Yeah, so now she's going to see it. Okay, so I also wanted to get um, the wooden rise planter. And so we are trying out a garden. We are newbies. Um, I mainly wanted the rise one or the one off the ground because I don't want to be on the ground. I can but also because we do have little um, rodents. I don't want to say rodents. What is it called, Jason? Pests. What is it called? Oh, rodent. Well, I don't want to call it a rabbit a rodent, but I guess it is a rabbit, huh? A rodent. Anyway, we have rabbits. We have deer. We have some everything. So it's going to be a little challenge. Hopefully, they will not get to our garden, but we will see. I got two of these. I thought the box was going to be really big. No. And I did put in my cart. I did want the signs that they had for this week. I didn't necessarily need them, y'all. And I already know how um, Aldi operates, especially with stuff like that, that I had to be there at 9 o'clock on the dot. So I just, so what I did was this right here was a pickup, and I ended up going in the store. That's what happened, y'all. I picked this up after I came out of the store and he said that the signs were gone like early this morning. Um, and I knew that, but that's just, I just didn't want to get up because the boys had like a remote learning day um, where the, they do all their homework and they don't have to um, have live classes. Okay, y'all. So I got the hanging basket stand. Um, this doesn't look like it's metal. It's almost feels like a real sturdy plastic. Um, but this is what it looks like. He said these were flying off the shelves too. I don't think I saw it in the store. Um, I have the one, the one that's kind of shaped like a heart and I had that one for years. It's on the front porch and it's so pretty when you put a fern on it. I had one before and it broke like it was on top of a, uh, the table and the wind blew it. Um, but I wanted this one too. This was, I think, $6.99. And the other thing that I wanted that I did not see even on the Instacart app or in the store, I didn't check my local store. I went to the next store over. It was the arch. I'll see if I can put a picture up. But the arch that you can have like vines or flowers growing over it, uh, that was $39.99. And I really wanted that because I have a jasmine plant outside. I'll take y'all outside. Zappos. Trail just buying y'all. I'm a kid just buying everything. I thought I heard a truck out here. So I'm getting ready to come out here and I'm getting ready to just like spray off the porch. They're gonna come and power wash it um I think next week. But this is the other Aldi stand that I had for years. Um y'all, my other plants didn't survive. Look at my pepper plant still living. I just need to water it. Okay, y'all. So this is my jasmine plant. It is huge, and sometimes it will grow um up the side of the house and we have to tear it off because if it gets between the side and it can cause um cracks or i forgot y'all we just don't let it grow on top on the side of the house so it needs to be cut down because i think this is the largest it's ever been and i just wanted an arch so that um it can grow real pretty right here in between the houses but on our side so that's what it looks like our realtor gave us this um after we had our stillborn so yeah so that was nice because that was like months years several years later after we um bought the house but anyway all right y'all so maybe i could find the arch or i don't know go on amazon or something but i see you guys in the very next video bye y'all
Okay, hopeful. So I did go back to Aldi today. I had to take back just our shoes because he said they were rubbing on the heels, but they were already sold out of the 13 one slot size. They only had two, three size, and I didn't go back to the same Aldi. So I don't know. I may go check tomorrow to see if they have it at the Aldi that I originally went to um, because they were some cute shoes for $6.99. So I went back and I got the garden soil. It's in the car, so I'll probably screenshot it. I got three bags. Um, you can't beat three bags of garden, gardening soil for $2.99. So I went ahead and got it and I wanted to make sure too it was like organic or a good kind too. Usually Aldi stuff is um, good. That's why I like Aldi. So um, the soil, the potting soil is a dollar more, $3.99. So anyway, I got three bags and um, when JJ finishes work, then we'll go in the car and get it. So um, I did get this a lot um style corn um this was like the it's the mexican style corn it's in the stick mobile bag it was kind of pricey it's like 219 for each bag and this is a 12 ounce bag um i got some from sam's before so anyway that's just a easy shortcut instead of buying the cheese that goes with it this um cotta cheese i think i don't know how you say it koja cheese then as well, I didn't realize I wasn't really paying attention to the food stuff for Aldi this week. They're playing something in the background, y'all. Um, this week, but Mama wanted to kind of know what was in the store when I talked to her yesterday. And I went to a different store, and I did not see these at all, the Chipotle Shrimp Street Tacos. And she was saying, yeah, this week they have a lot of Mexican items. And I was like, oh, I didn't pay no mind. So... So when I, um, yeah, I have to see how much this was because I didn't see a price on either side of the freezer chest. And I remembered to look over there when I saw these items after I was getting the potting soil to get back in line to check out. So um, I like when they have these little four in one seasonings. When they bring back the pizza sauce, I hope I haven't missed it, pizza seasoning. I wanna get that, I'm gonna get several of those. But they had two of these. This is the street corn. Um, you get the maple bacon, the Parmesan garlic, uh, the chili lime salt, the habanero salt. And then this one is the taco cart, um, the hatch chili verde, street corn, cilantro tequila lime, and carne asada street taco. Then um, they had these. These were 69 cents, the um, packets, the Baja Fish Street Taco Seasoning. I think I got this before. They had some other ones too, y'all. should took a picture. Um, I think it was the Carna with the pulled pork and another one. And then this one, the Southwest Ranch Chicken. I got two of these, the Street Taco Seasoning Mix. And I probably should have got four, four of these. Yeah, four of those. Um, everybody else must want to try them too, or they have tried them before because it wasn't that many left. And that's it, y'all. So I'm going to go see one day or tomorrow to see if they have the shoes for Sasai at the other store. All right, y'all. Bye.